Hi guys, it's Rachel here. Um, just making sure I'm recording. Okay, um, I just had this um, thing. I put this together before Christmas. No, I think I might have put this together in October or something last year. Um, and it's a series of envelopes that I had glued together to do something with in a bag. Um, so I thought I might have a play around with that and um, see what I can do with that one, I think. So, um, yeah, just a random video. Um, finishing off something that's been sitting around for a while. Hasn't got too much dust on it, so <laughs> let's give it a wipe. So how is everyone today? I have no idea where this video is going. I've just turned on the camera and it is what it is. I've got some papers sitting here on my table, so I might as well use those. I'm just going to tear off the white edge. I've got a lovely sunny day, minus two degrees this morning, but I think it's going to get up to seven, something like that. So, but you can feel it like when you're lying in bed under your doona, you can just feel that it's it's minus in the morning because it's just there's just this chill in there, even though the heaters are going, there's just a, a extra chill in the air. And as you know, I don't keep my part. Our, we don't keep our apartment overly hot because otherwise then we get too hot so we like to we prefer to put another jumper on or have a hot water bottle in my case because I love the hot water bottle I don't know call me old-fashioned I just love it I love carrying it around it comforts me um, so I've got this paper and I'm just wondering I've got my big floppy jumper on and it gets caught on things so let's just roll up the sleeves All right she might be nice there, and just a little bit too big. Um, I have no idea what I'm even going to do with this. I might insert some pages or something, or maybe it could be like a, I don't know. I'm just talking. I think I might put that one there. So let me just. So before actually, before I do that, we've got a small um, first of the month folder here um, envelope. We've got a regular um, pergamena envelope or just seven inches that one just to give you an idea in four and three quarters 18 centimeters and about 12 then we've got a long one 22 centimeters eight eight and a half inches four and a half and and 11 centimeters that's pretty much that's similar size that's a similar size to the first one and then that's just a little bag that's a bag i bought those on amazon i think they came from france 13 centimeters five inches three and a half and eight and a half just to give you an idea so we've got one attached here that's attached that one's attached to this one at the back here. It's a bit confusing, isn't it? Oh, and it's attached on there. So I attached those two, and then I, what did I do? I had that flap. Oh, I see, I attached. So, you know what? I know this is a confusing video, but I want to show you how it's done. So let me grab some envelopes. Um, and we'll work it out. That one, one of those. So, for example, I don't have the, the brown one. So, let's work out what I did because I don't even remember. We'll, we'll put it all together first. How about that? So, so then we've got... So, let's... We'll do this one. It's the same type as that one. So, we're going to attach the first of the month envelope. Grabbed one. Oh, isn't that lovely? So, we're going to attach that one here. Oh, that one's got something in it. Well, we'll leave that in there. It's just a piece of paper it's got a it's even got a um embossing thing on it right uh, you know like a um a sigla i don't know what you call it it's got stamps on the back too so we won't be covering that one up so we'll glue that one here let's put it together so you need a few different sizes of envelopes you don't have to have the same size as me 
not on straight that might be better so that's that that's attached to there okay then this one is attached to that one so just take it slowly we're going to have this I think I attached it that way so it attached on here there okay yeah now this one has this long oh I trimmed it off so what I did was I just folded this and I've trimmed it off because it was too long these are lovely recycled envelopes where did I go oh, I got them did I buy them from my supermarket? I can't remember if I bought them from the art supply store or my supermarket. I'm just running some glue along. Um, I love doing these things. Don't do them enough. So I've got my window up there. And so this is going to attach there. That's not right. It's going to attach. It's going to attach... Where's it attaching to? Just a minute. I've confused myself that way. It's going to attach like that. So I've got my first of the month envelope over here. Sorry, guys. Got myself all confused. I'm not putting them right flush. Just, just gives you a little bit of work room. Okay, so that's that. I'll probably do something wrong. Then on here, on here, this flap here, we can attach another one and in this case I've got this um, transparent envelope and I did put I've always put my I put my opening on the outside so I'm going to attach that one there so I've got to this one here I need to take that off because it's got the peely wheely thing and I'm going to put my glue over the top plenty of glue so it doesn't you've got to have a good a nice you know a good glue stick you know one one of those bodgy glue sticks that doesn't stick down very well and you could be using your Fabri-Tac if you use that or something else I wouldn't I'm not using a wet glue because um, um, because so that goes that way now what have I done I've got it folding the wrong way that's it that's how it goes so we have see they're the same we've got that one so that attached to that envelope then we attached this one to this envelope and then on this one's flap we've attached this one so they're the same okay so then we come over here and what have we done what have I done now where has that one been attached that's been attached to the front so grab one of these these are like a manila envelope. Oh, they're kind of stuck down too because they're old. Mm. Oh, it must have had some humidity. That one's stuck. What about this one? Is this one stuck? Oh, they're all stuck. That one's stuck as well. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll have to be used for something. Oh, I think I glued those down. Excuse me. Those were ones that I had um, done for, to do an expanding folder. Here we go. What a ding dong. Okay, so this one. Now, did I trim that one off? I did. So I'll trim it off a little bit. Because we don't need the... I mean, even though it's going to be covered up, we'll just trim it off. I mean, and the, and the possibilities are endless. Like, you can just keep on adding more and more and more on whatever you like. So... That's going to go on there. Let's see how my glue paper is going. I don't want it to get become sticky. And of course, you can use um, recycled envelopes as well. Um, my recycled envelopes at the moment ha don't have any flaps on them because I've I ripped them open. So um, I'm not using those. So that is correct that's going to glue on there and I put it further up level with my higher longest bit attach that there like so and then we're going to attach the bag and the bag simply attaches on the front one as well oh wait no just a second oh, I know what I did I trimmed this so you can snip that there and what you can do to make it extra strong, fold it over there. Or you can cut it off. You decide. It's your choice. Right. 
and then we're going to have this one and that one's going to attach there and again I have to not that way the other way hello so that there now I want to attach it there that's it so I'm going to put it here slide it up a bit and this bit here I'm going to snip down there as well if I can and I'm just going to fold that over it just makes it I think it just attaches it that little bit more and I've done it crooked just a sec So the nice thing about that glue is it's, you know, it can be um, adjusted. So there we go. We've got two done now. Don't you love that? Just love it. So they both flip out like that. And look at that. Not covering any of that up. Um, and then it opens out like so. So fold that back and it opens out. We've got, this one's got a glassine one. This one's got a, um, oh, I even wrote, I'm going to put a journal in there. Okay. Um, and then there's that one, that one, that one. They're a slightly different colour, same brand, different colours because it's recycled paper. And that's it. So there we go. So we can work on these now. What fun. I like these. Okay, so we can start decorating. And I think I'll use a mix of papers just to use up my stash. Now, what I wanted to say is, I brought those back, not these ones, they they don't have flaps. But you could, for example, um, add more. Like, for example, you could have one attached there. Obviously, that one's not going to fit in there. You could trim it down. You could have one attaching in there. You can, I mean, you can have endless things flipping out. Is what That's my point. Endless things flipping. Lots of flipping going on. Right. So, we'll put those over there. And we're going to start, I might, I don't know whether I'll work on both at the same time or, or one at a time. Um, but I think these, th I do find these things a lot of fun, a lot. Right. So what we call it? An envelope flippy journal thing. There we go. It's more or less straight. We do very more or less here on this channel, don't we guys? And I find it so much more relaxing because it's only paper and it's not precious paper this paper you know like it's printed you can print it out again i mean like what i mean by precious is i mean like my um obviously my florentine paper would be more precious because once i ruin it i can't use it again so i'm going to think i'm going to glue that one there i like that fold this over I think I might make another wide snippet roll with some of this magazine paper too because it's perfect for it. Some more because I only made that one strip. So I need to make more. I'm using Pritt glue stick. It's very good. My other, my favourite, favourite one is um, the Josho glue stick. But um, it was a little bit smushy. So um, I'm using my Pritt and I'll just keep my Josho one. It's really good for gluing um, paper. I'm um, fabric. It's really good for gluing fabric as well if you want to just add a little fabric touch to it so um i'll keep it for that because i don't mind a bit of smush on the fabric right so now i need to put something here um i don't know what i've got floating around here um there's a lot of ums going on in this video because i've just turned the camera on really literally just turned it on and thought oh now I do have these. They've got little marks on them. They were these were in one of my kits that I made. Now these are envelopes, so I think we'll have to have these in in this job. So actually, I need to make these a digital. I did provide these in that um, big um, journal making kit I had made um, last year, and um, the printouts of them. On this is on newspaper paper, newsprint paper. Um, and so I thought maybe these should, I've got more of these gorgeous envelopes. Um, they're old. I just bought a bundle of them from a man the last time I went to my favorite, um, antique market that has not been on now for a year. 
Oh, it's so sad. And who knows when it's going to be on again. They do have some marks. So I just have to do something about that. Um, because my printer... Um, I think I had to, I used my Epson. I don't know why I th I don't know why I didn't use my um, HP, um, but my Epson printer puts blotches on things when it doesn't like it. It doesn't always cooperate. Yes, yeah, so I got a bundle of these um, just little note cards and all different envelopes, um, very old ones, and so um, I scan them. So I, need, I might do a digital kit with those because they're really cool. They're all different shapes. And in the digital kit, I could also, you know, maybe have one to a page or something. and Or I could make them bigger on the page. Then this is their actual size of the envelopes, what you're seeing here. I think, I think they are anyway. I haven't looked at them for a while. I couldn't find them and now I've found them because I've started um, clearing out. So, you know, I was a sewer before um, I did paper crafting. I was always fascinated by paper crafting, but I, I was felt like I was so bad at it. Um, and my sister's always been really good at it. And I just felt like, I, I just was in awe of how she was able to do it. And I, you know, it was sheer determination, watching videos and, um, and then I just had to figure out in my mind, and I've told you this many times, those of you who've been with me for a long time, um, I just had to start, um, what really clicked for me with the paper crafting was thinking of, it, of the paper as fabric. So I collaged the paper um, as though I would collage fabric in sewing. So um, that's what really helped me. Stop th I stopped thinking of it as paper and, um, and thought about it as fabric. Anyway, um, I used to do a lot of things for kids like, um, that's what I used to sell in my Etsy store, were growth charts and... Um, that I had hand sewn and and name pillows and that sort of thing and I really just made so many of them I became it wasn't fun for me anymore it became like really quite a chore and so I decided not to sell them anymore and I've I moved more into the paper crafting and more I really do enjoy more the slow stitching and that sort of thing so and I had started doing I think I probably would be doing dabbling in the slow stitching probably almost probably eight years if not longer because I had done um whispering heart the whispering hearts course um by Jude Hill um spirit cloth and um I don't know if she still offers it I think she might that's the top and anyway so I um I did that and that's when I started slow stitching I did it so many years ago I mean mum it was mum was here mum watched it and did it um and it would have been many moons ago. Many moons ago it was. So I need a piece of paper for here. So I'm going to grab out my digital kits. Where are they? Here we go. We'll see what we've got in here. Because I haven't, haven't pulled these. I'm just going to do a mixed bag of things, really, in this thing. Um, yeah, so um, I've been sort of clearing out a lot. And I found... I've been clear, Like, I've got all my old drawings and stuff and patterns that I did um for the growth charts and things like I used to make my own patterns and applique patterns and that sort of thing and so I had folders and folders of these sketchy drawings and I just decided to um I need it to be the right that's nice and strong that paper um oh, what about this one's nice and oh, I love this Steffi did this one and then maybe the, you know, the blue is too big. Um, yep, so I found a long, I mean, what a long rattling on story that is. Um, I think I'm going to put the blue bird there. Um, I found the um, the envelopes. There we go. That was, how long did it take me to get you to the point that I found the envelopes? It took, it took me forever. Now, how wide is this one? So I don't want to be chopping off any of the bird, do I? Because <laughs> I'm renowned for chopping off bits of birds and things, aren't I? And butterflies. I just need to take a little bit of the tail off. Sorry, birdie. I apologize. Oh, gosh, it doesn't want to do it. I have to press harder. Okay. And for anyone who's new, these are 
We are memory keepers. Tear guides, they're called. We are tear guides. I'm sure you can buy them on Amazon or any craft supply stores. Not not here. We don't have craft supply stores here. So there you go. It's, it's a craft supply store desert. Okay, so... That's going to go there. Now, I don't want to glue here. So I've shown you this many times, but we need to grab a piece of um, scrap paper, which is here. And we'll just slide that in there. And then when you glue, I'll grab another piece of paper so I don't get glue all over my table, although I probably need to give my mat a clean, don't I? Um, put your glue down here. And I'm going to open this on the other side. And we've done all these things before. It's all a bit of a, a repeat, but you know, you just do what you feel like, even if you're repeating. Otherwise, I'd never put any videos up, would I? I couldn't come up with new ideas every single day. Although, I mean, I probably haven't done one. I've done one um, envelope journal, um, but I, I haven't. I might, this one might be slightly different to the other one I did. I can't remember. So that goes there. And I put I ran a bead of glue down there to close that there. And I could easily take this to my sewing machine, and I might, um, and stitch down there because this is not bulky. So this the sewing machine would take this. So you could have a pocket up the top or at the side. And I'm wondering, I'm thinking I might put a transparent pocket here. Yes, let's grab the transparent things. I can't see them, can I? I've got too many plastic folders in here. Where are they? Of course they're at the back. So that's what I keep these for. And what I will have to do is stitch around it. Let's grab this one, it'll be perfect. It's crooked. It's just a piece of bag that I've snipped off. Try and make it straighter. I have wondered whether my um, cutter would cut it. Not that it really matters. So I could put that there. It's double double bag so I'm going to leave it double because I'm going to stitch around it so if I glue that there I'll get a little pocket on there and I don't cover up the lovely envelope so I'm just going to run a bit of my PVA glue if it will come out we'll see if I don't have any gooby bits in there grip shake and I've cut my pocket very slightly smaller so I just I just want to thin and that will hold it for a minute before I go and stitch it, stitch it. It will need to be stitched because I've noticed they pop up if they don't if they're not stitched. You want to be careful with it. You don't want to um, sort of mush it too much because you you lose your pocket. So I'll just put that there like that. Whoops. looks kind of straight to me that'll do I'll just leave that for a minute right so why don't we just have a well actually I could just fold that one out there actually I can and I can no because I'm going to stitch there so in this case if you put a pocket there you do need to um, have your pocket at the top not at the side so I'm just going to snip that I hope I'm not cutting the piece of paper in there because I've glued the piece of paper in there haven't I oh no the other one had the piece of paper this one doesn't See, I've got my pocket there. And I'm just going to, so I don't need to look at that for the moment. I can do something there. I can open it out like this, you see. And it's the same deal here. Now, do we want to keep this open? We could. Or we make it a top-loading pocket. That's the choice. Let's have a look at it. Top-loading pocket. Probably a top loading pocket would be easier because if you then put a journal in there, it's going to bulk up a bit and you might have trouble sliding things in there. So we'll make it a top loading pocket. So we've got to find a piece of paper to go here. 
and I'm looking at her again and I'm thinking yes she will go there so I just need to tear here I just flip her around and tear it the other way so I don't I don't have any white showing on that side and then I'm just going to tear a tiny bit off here because there's too much so there'll be several parts to this operation here because it takes time. Just having a bit of fun. Right, so. That will go there, I think. Yes, it will. And I'll just fold that up so I can see where to tear it. So, and then I need to slide my piece of paper in there to put my glue on. Okay. Oh wait, I don't want to do that yet because I want to put my little bead of glue down there to close it. So I'll just make sure that glues down. And I'm going to open it at the top before I forget. Okay, so that's that one. Then we have this here. Now this one I think I'll leave that opening like that. We need to put some paper here. And we might even put like a pocket or something so we'll just see what paper I decide to use I have the, the bird paper no Let's see what else I've got because I'm doing this a little bit more sort of renaissance the, the other one I might do it a bit more botanical I think Here's that beautiful paper by Steph, but I oh, might keep that for the botanical. It's pretty. And I could put a pocket there. I think I might like this one or that one. That's nice. Or I think maybe this one. Yeah. That's it. So let's just slide that over there further. Now I wonder if I want to, I could wrap it around the corner, couldn't I? I was going to put a pocket there. I'll be covering that bit up, but does that matter? It doesn't really matter, does it? So I think I'll rip it. So, and glue it on the whole thing and I'll probably cover that bit up but I like these colors here with this I'm not folding that under because that's still wet I'm just going to put some glue uh, some paper under there and then put my glue on here Need a bigger piece of paper
so when I um you what you can write in the comments if you want to um, is if you want me to recap how I did the envelopes so we did actually do it in the beginning of the video or you can watch the video great you get your envelopes up that's what I do when I'm trying to see how to make something that someone else has done I pause you know I'll, I'll pull my bits out and I'll I'll make myself a sample um, and pause the video stopping and starting the whole time um, I'm going to slide that up higher I'll tell you why because I'm going to put a pocket there so you probably won't see that bit down there glue it on trim off any excess here But anyway, if you want me to, to show again, I will. I'll probably have to recap my for myself as well. Um, then I will I will happily do that for you. So that's that. We'll do that after. It's got a bit of glue on there. So I might just put that underneath. Okay, and that I've got to recreate my fold there. See, that's going to be on there. Okay, so here I'm going to leave this. I'm going to, I might slip in, why don't we slip in some paper in there? And first I think I'll decide what I want to put here. Um, so what do we have going on here? A little bit of botanical, but we won't put it, won't be all botanical. That beautiful piece of paper there, Not that one. No. Just trying to find a paper that will go nicely. Oh, that's one of my collage pages. I like that. Let's just see. That might work, that one. Or. Oh, what about this one? It's not big enough be good that one though because I could trim it down no that one and then I'll put some do some collaging on there now I'm just going to trim it I'm just going to put it slightly back and this is printed on a slightly heavier paper I think it's 160 GSM this one it feels thicker unless it's my presentation paper I'm not sure which now I need to tear off my edges I'm going to attach this in the center but I've got a lot of space there to cover up um, or will I just leave it I could put washi tape Maybe I'll put washi tape. I'll put that over there like that. 
and I might just put some washi tape there and there. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, but before I glue that on, I think I'm going to put some music paper or... Let me see. I had some music paper here. I think I might put some music paper in there. Or otherwise, I could put some antique letter. Just find one. That one. I might need to print some more out. I've used a lot of them. Need to print out some more because I've used them. I've got these. And where did this come from? I think this came from the graphics fairy. This one I might use that. I could use just some old book page, that's also an option. But I could just stick a bit of that in there. So I'm going to tear it in half. It's just sitting there, not being used. You might as well. Tear it off. Okay, so let me see here. If that will fit in there. Too long. Yep, perfect. Probably like it just a bumbling along today. I am. Okay, so this is a little bit fiddly. So I think I'll attach it there first. Then you've got to open this up and get it in there. It's not easy. Oh, you know what I might do? I'm going to take that bit off there. I don't want that bit. Okay. And then it's easier to get that in there. And I really didn't need that bit. Okay. Put this one in its spot. Oh no, I don't want to. No, you've got to always remember when you want to keep the envelope open, you don't want to. Well, actually, now that I don't have that, I'm going to put that up higher and I'm going to rip that bit off. I don't need all of that. And will I rip the white off or the green? Take this off. Okay. 
and I'm going to glue that on and I may put a pocket down below because we can do with some more pockets okay so here we're going to have a pocket do i have anything here sitting around that i can use let me have a look what are these here we go anything here these were some of the ones that i cut up from my collage sheet it's too big nice and plain I think I'll trim that off there do we want a pocket there hmm, maybe it would be better over there okay we'll think about that okay it takes a while to do this so I think we might we might do is end the video here and continue on tomorrow with this I'll stitch that when it's dry um, don't know how long I've been or maybe I'll do a bit more and I need to put a pocket here so let's see if any of these I've got more as a sec I have heaps of those what and it finishes at one and so she said that we're finishing lesson at 12 and so we're missing is it 12 hours. already no it's 11 11 11 11 oh make a wish sorry oh. lulu i <laughs> said 11 11 make a wish oh okay but basically she's finishing two hours before because she seems to be convinced that we have uh, lesson until one and not tw uh, two. She's, is she the vagabond teacher? Yeah. the, the She's a bit of a vagabond. One. Oh, that's nice. I think I like that one. What do you think, Lily? Oh, let me see. Yeah, I think I like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's lovely. It's going to be in my pocket. Because that colour looks very nice with that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that looks nice with that. Thank you, Lily. That's exactly what I was thinking. Great, Mummy. Fantastic. Fabtastic. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard that before. I like that. Oh, Fabtastic, that. guys. Fabtastic. Right, now I need to do my little... I'm going to do a little notch here. And... Okay. Got attacked by the notch. Glue that on. I'll use my... Um, Eileen's sticky glue, tacky glue. It can be quite a long process making one of these because then we need to have decorations and all kinds of things going on. It's going to be a lot going on. Plasters and fabric bits and all kinds of bits and pieces. I'll put that one there. Okay, so that's that. Hopefully it sticks down in a timely fashion. So here, I had to decide what to do here. I haven't decided. See, I've got my pocket there, so I probably don't need a pocket there. I could probably decorate that. Um, in which case, I could just use this little piece here. Yes, why don't I stick that on to cover that bit up? And then I can decide about pockety sort of things. If I want them or if I want to just decorate it. Put that there now this one i'm going to close and open it on the side i think no i think i'll open it at the top i'll open it at the top i think and that one can open at the side okay so let's see how we're going yeah i always have to go back and just double check could have a, i don't want to cover that we might decorate a little bit go back and check how it's moving along so I've got a pocket there needs something there this needs something on it this needs something they all need something that's going to have something there 
not sure about this this will be decorated or have a pocket so okay let's choose something for here I need see what it is is um, the the envelopes are taller than the papers I don't want that paper there okay oh I know what I might like if I've got one big enough is I might like one of yes, they're not big enough. Oh yes, they are. One of these papers I wanted. I was thinking. Maybe this one. I have to tear it down. It won't be um, the whole image. I was thinking one of those would be good. They're my antique books. These are from my actual own personal antique books or oh, pages that I've also had from books as well. Okay, that one, what was that one? Seven, oh, that was the 1704 one. So I'm going to tear it down here. You're going to, I'm going to lose my, um, you know, the old edges of the book. But if I put that, I want to try. I mean, I'll have to rip some of the words. Stuore. I don't know what that means. I think it's written in Compagnia di Gesù. No, it's written in Italian, not in. Um, no, I thought it might be written in Latin, Latin, Latino, but it's not. So I'm going to lose some of the words. Um, I'll tear that, sorry. It's a bit of trial and error here. Oh, clouds are coming over. It might be fog. Could be fog. I've got to lose the E and I've got to lose the Giesu. Still too wide. Let's just tear the top off so I can see better. Oh, quite a bit I need to still take off. Right. It's really just the look of it, isn't it? And just under there. See if that's going to work. It's a bit crooked up there. Okay, right. Get my piece of paper and slide it under there. And what, I can't remember. I, how was I going to open this one? At the top, I think. So I'll put my glue here. Right, and then we need our glue to close up this side of it. Because also when you're putting in um, journal pages, it's bulky and then you can't, it's very hard to slide things in on that side. So it's better to open it on the other side or at the top. decide about pockets and that sort of thing after um, I think I will stop here I think we've been here for a long time and we'll continue on with it in the next video so yeah because it's taking a lot I don't want to rush it I want it to be nice so um, yeah I'll continue on in the next video so I hope you're enjoying that give you a chance to get one started too and um, and then I will continue on I'll do, I might continue on today, but I'll post the video the next day, if you know what I mean, because I kind of feel like continuing on, um, but I've got, I've got to go and do some things now, so I'll come back later and do it. So, 
I hope you enjoyed that. We've got this one here to do as well. And I, so maybe I'll put my, you know, my, oh, it's that way. I'll put my pocket on there, do that sort of thing. Maybe decide on some papers. Super, I love the stamps. If I could find those stamps not attached, wouldn't they be wonderful? Never seen them before though. Anyway, so thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.